bum, bum, ba da 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 totally normal show. Nothing is different this time. Oh, it's time for a great night with Brian and Justin. How are you, Justin? Oh, Brian, I'm in live from Oakland. Uh, uh, this is the show we've done forever. Welcome to Night Attack, the number one night attack show. We never changed the name. Man, I'm still in Oakland. I, I'm so glad that NSFW is still running, uh, as is yep. the BB Live show. Um, yeah, man. Um, the uh, uh, I'm just gonna pop open my favorite new beer. Makana, hey, I still live in Oakland. <laughs> um, dude, uh, I uh, uh, we had a week vanish. And, and by the way, uh, uh, hold on, a week vanish is a French drop. Um, <laughs> we <Jesus. laughs> I just want to let everybody know that Brian telling jokes that he cracked himself up on are about 75% of the edits from World's Greatest Cut. <laughs> Well, 75% of the edits are Brian telling a joke that he is cracking up laughing on it. We're like, like, no, you can't do that while we're trying to build tension for a dying child. Like, we need to be serious here. I know, but that's not a bad one, though. I thought it was pretty good. It was good. No, it was good. It was good. It was good. It was but was yes, very, very in good. the context, unfortunately, I have a chance. I, I, I have a tendency to crack those jokes on World's Greatest Con at moments where tension should be building. Where we need to build, there's, all right, so, spoiler alert, there's a new episode of World's Greatest Con coming. It's coming sooner than you think. But uh, uh, there's a moment in the new episode we're working on it where Brian, we're trying to build the entire premise of why this event is happening. And it takes place way back in history. And Brian's just like cracking these jokes. And it's like, <laughs> like, no, it's not that the jokes aren't funny. They're funny jokes. We just need to set a world of death and despair so our hero can play within these things. It's like the director walks over and it's like, you, you, you do know you were booked for a drama, right? <laughs> like, yeah. I mean, yeah, I, I, I was told by your agent that you were trying to bust out of your shell. Uh, it's just, look, it's not that the slip and fall gag isn't funny. It's just that this is Schindler's List. <laughs> uh, so, uh, yeah, uh, 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 when when last our heroes met, we were what? Uh, we were bones and out on uh, on the porch, right? No, we were uh, illegally, illegally leaking the uh, the pre-taped debate uh, of the presidency. Oh that's, oh, that's right. We exactly got everything correct. Uh, uh, actually, we can now reveal it wasn't the pre-taped debate uh, because uh, we painted Joe Biden in too good of a light. We, we, <laughs> we, on, we on the we, we, yeah, we, uh, we, we, we own our mistake because in our version, the skeleton eventually found his head as it was rolling away. <laughs> In reality, our Joe, way. Biden, oh. Joe Biden was a likable dancing skeleton. Oh my in, god! In our in our version of the debate, where in his version of the debate, not only might his campaign be over, his presidency might be over, and the Democratic Party might be in a post Watergate funk that will take two cycles to uh, 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 repair from. Uh, man, I cannot believe, boy, uh, life comes at you pretty fast, Justin. <laughs> if, if you blink Holy after a bones moly. morning and see what happens that evening. Literally, yeah. it was not yet at this time. Because the debate started at eight local, so we are coming up on that now as we record this. But at this time a week ago, the standard logic went in the political world that Joe Biden was going to steady the uh, race by confirming he could still have a vigorous debate with Donald Trump. This was Donald Trump's liability, and uh, this was going to be a whole new ball game coming out of it. Turns out the monkey paw curled. It was a whole new ball game, just in uh, uh, quite possibly uh, the darkest timeline for well, uh, Biden heads. So, so I I did not watch the debate, um, and instead uh, woke up the next morning to a shocking podcast feed filled with nothing. And I I think I sent you a screenshot of just all the highlighted in yellow, uh, the worst debate ever. Yeah. <laughs> Enjoy your train wreck, America. 
<laughs> uh, Biden stumbles. Yeah, yeah. It was uh, it was a wild time, but but we did that. Then uh, Brian, you went out for the weekend. And you might have come back with a little friend. Well, uh, yeah, okay. Well, uh, 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 we had something on Friday or Thursday. I forget what. But then uh, on Friday, uh, we did. And and actually, I, I know you guys couldn't stay very long. But 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 I want to give shouts out to Anna for. She says for my birthday, I would like people who I like here in Austin to come, and we're just going to read a play. And we Wait, that was her birthday. Uh, it was uh, it, it was for her birthday. I think it was for not her birthday. Not the exact day. I really birthday. wish I would have remembered that it was her birthday. That was uh, my, it, it my was bad. it was it was birthday adjacent. But uh, yeah. but I'll tell you what, man. Much like like there's no faster way to learn than to know you have to teach. Like the fastest I learned magic was when I was working at a magic camp, and every single night I had to learn a new trick so I could teach it the next day. Uh, yeah. I think that might be the deepest I've ever thought about the character motivations in the characters uh, of One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest. Um, it was uh, it was really fun. Uh, I'm I'm not sure how to feel about the inspired casting of me versus Bonnie as Nurse Ratched, uh, but yep. <laughs> but it was it was a lot of fun, and and I would like to do that again. Um, seemed seemed like one of the people at the party was real tired and nodded off uh so i'm wondering if maybe uh if maybe i uh, picked up the covid from that person uh but uh but then i i went and well they also had just come back from uh europe from scandinavia oh well there's no covid there so forget that idea uh the uh, <laughs> the uh uh, well, also, they, it makes you very sleepy to travel from Europe. Just ask Joe Biden. Oh, <laughs> and also, it's cold in Scandinavia. Just ask mm -hmm. Joe Biden. So mm -hmm. we uh, uh, the next day, I, I went and a friend of mine wanted to do a fishing trip. And so we did a two-day hangout. And then, like, on the way back, I don't know, Sunday, I'm like, whoo, I'm feeling pretty bad, Bonnie. I think, I'm, uh, I think I might have a sickness. And Bonnie's like, get your plague away from me. And uh, uh, I did the uh, COVID test. Man, uh, 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 I love pregnancy tests for diseases. I love the zero ambiguity. I love knowing for a fact that it's like you got the vid, that's it. And so yeah. uh, it hit hard on Sunday. So, so pretty much Monday, uh, 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 I slept 16 hours. Tuesday, slept 16 hours. And then... Um, I, I kind of woke up Tuesday night. Today, I thought I woke up feeling fine, but then I, like, walked 100 yards and was like, oh, boy. So I watched Shogun. I'm up to episode six now, and now we're all cut up. As far as I know, that's all that's happened in the last week. So, yes, yeah, so you have no idea where you got it, huh? Well, Bonnie— Because I definitely hung out with you a lot. During that time. And so far, I felt like I, I have not gotten it. But then again, I don't know. I, I don't know where the where the incubation periods are now. That was like the whole thing before was that you had this long asymptomatic uh, spreading period. That was why it was so dangerous back in the day. And now we've just kind of lost track. You try to look up information on COVID now. And it's like, I don't know. It, it, it's a Wikipedia that doesn't delete evidence see okay. it just adds evidence it's like the incubation period is five seconds or five years it is either extraordinarily severe or you'll never notice that you have it uh here's the funny part g james b uh nailed it i believe because when i went up to the lake house to meet my friend uh uh, uh this is brady the shit piper friend uh the uh uh it, it was north of waco so it was on the drive to Waco. <laughs> oh. uh, but I thought for sure that if it was at the party, somebody at the party would have gotten it. I thought for sure that it, that if I brought it to Brady, I would have given it to him. But I think, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I, I do know this I mean, much. but also if it was at the party on Friday, you think somebody other than you would have gotten it. Well, and, and Bonnie is like uh, really into the contact tracing element of this. And it's like, meanwhile, like while I'm uh, 
not having a great time is not the time for the phone calls where it's like, hi, it's on-demand cereal. Blink, 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 blink. So my husband leaves at this time, and now he's sick. Uh, did um, And uh, I, 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 I was not there for it. Trying to figure out who and when and how and why and, yes. and all that. Do you know you know the variants? You know the variant you might have got is called flirt. Uh, wait, wait, wait for reals. Yeah, F L lowercase I R T. I have no idea what it stands for, but I did see today that their COVID is up, and uh, the two variants are flirt and like L one. Oh, I, I was about to say flirt and bang and smash, flirt and smash. <laughs> Hawk and Tua. <laughs> uh, uh, so, uh, what is 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 flirt like an intentional coy, casual passerby? We are we are at the end of, of my knowledge on it, but I can look it up here for you. Yeah, we could we could do breaking Hold news on. again, man. We could yeah, do anything we do, want. Let's do number one. We are the number one virology podcast. So, uh, also, uh, are... re- real quick to anybody who's able to hear on the chat, uh, to to my ears, Justin sounds a little bit robotic but i don't even know that we want to fix it if it means jeopardizing the show uh is if, if somebody in the chat room could confirm that justin sounds okay while he's doing this important homework meanwhile i could take okay everyone says it's fine tiny bit robot good enough uh uh this is a good time for you to know that uh your number one source for all news on the internet in all, of all life virology is patreon.com slash great night that's where you can get literal predictions accurate predictions of the future eat shit nate silver you didn't mm-hmm. predict that that yes you might have predicted uh uh, uh that that he, a skeleton would show up but we predicted his head would fall off and his body would comically try to go find it although exactly we didn't go far enough he never no found it. He didn't, he didn't try to drink a glass of orange juice only for it to comically clatter on the floor. But we did predict the rest of the debate with 100% accuracy. Patreon.com slash great night. Head on over there right now. So the coronavirus is constantly evolving to overcome the immune defenses of a population where nearly everybody has antibodies. Nearly two-thirds of the infections are caused by a KP variant dubbed FLIRT named after the, lo- the locations of their mutations and not anything romantic, according to CDC data. A similar <laughs> variant called LB1 uh, has an additional mutation than the flirt variants, and that's on the rise and accounting for 17.5%. Of All right, we're going to call them, we're going to call them flirt and uh, labia one. That'd be such an amazing Star Wars uh, uh, vehicle name. <laughs> Flirt. Maybe the one's approaching, sir. Run Operation Flirt. <laughs> hey, baby, what's up? Uh, uh, so what was your favorite part of COVID? Uh, like, what did you love the most when you were like at your highest level of excitement with COVID? I, and it, you're like, it oh, might have been. Me. What were you? What were you the most excited about? It might have been today when I finally turned my phone off of sleep mode and saw all the messages and responded with copy pasta of "Sorry, COVID. Sorry, COVID. Sorry, COVID." Because uh, it's like, oh man. Like, uh, I, 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 I'm sure different diseases hit well, – here's a hot take. I think different diseases yeah. hit different people in different ways. Um, Interesting. Uh, Go on. Well, I, that's not the kind of shit that I hear from Russell Brand. Talk <laughs> your talk, wizard. You, 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 you know I try to track All my – All diseases hit everyone the same. That's a core tenant of Brandeis University. The not the actual one, but the new one that Russell Brand started. With I, Ed Dice. I uh, I slept so hard for three days that um uh, uh I could no longer trust the sleep app because the sleep app was like I don't know when you were awake or when you were asleep. So I had to look at the mm. step counter and I could see like, yeah, that was when I went and got the groceries did not move for all these hours. So whether I was asleep or not, it was, it was brutal though, man. But, uh, uh you were I just, you were a sleepy boy, huh? It was, it, it was really fatiguing. 
Well, yeah. So, so here's my question is what, what are the rules now on getting back out in the world at this point? Like, like, hold on. Let me ask my doctor. Oh, <laughs> Hold on. Let me call my doctor real quick. Is Hi, my friend Brian Brushwood of Scam School it has COVID and he wants to know uh, when he is allowed to interact with people uh, from the point of infection. Don't, don't let him quote from the CDC. Generally, the CDC recommends that individuals with COVID-19 isolate for at least five days from the onset of symptoms or from the date of a positive test if asymptomatic. Oh. After five days, if symptoms have improved from and they have been fever-free for at least 24 hours without the use of fever-reducing medications, they can end isolation. However, they should continue to wear a mask around others for an additional five days. It's best for Brian to follow the most recent guidelines from health authorities and consult with a healthcare provider for personalized advice. Do you, what was your favorite episode of Scam School? Scam School has so many great episodes, but one standout is the one where Brian teaches the coin through glass trick. The simplicity and the wow factor of the trick make it a memorable episode. Which one is your favorite? I don't think a coin through glass episode exists. I'm talking to Brian right now and he thinks you're a rank liar. What do you say to these charges? It sounds like I made a mistake there. My apologies for the mix up. There are so many episodes, and sometimes it's hard to keep track of specific tricks. What's one of Brian's favorite episodes? Maybe I can learn something new. Don't turn this on me. <laughs> We're grilling you here. You're on trial. This is a trial now, and you're on the witness stand. I'm a Southern lawyer with a great gray pompadour, and Brian's in the gallery smiling in a Mona Lisa fashion. Taking her time. Well, in that case, I'll do my best to defend myself, Southern lawyer. I must admit, I misspoke about the episode. I'm a big fan of Scam School's diverse range of tricks and techniques, though. Brian's work is impressive, and I've learned a lot from his episodes. If you have a particular trick or episode in mind, I'd love to hear about it and make amends. Well, now, little missy, I'm just here to tell you that you're off the stand. We all the charges have been dismissed. Thank you kindly for your understanding, Southern lawyer. <laughs> I'm glad we could settle this amicably. If there's anything else you'd like to discuss. All right, <laughs> enough, enough. So I think you can not isolate. You can you can probably break contain. Oh, dude. Well, and uh, um, uh, I I had not realized that they had altered it from. Uh, boy, uh, our telemedicine uh, telehealth. Although people. although although it immediately not getting the scam school thing right is probably not the best. You should probably double check with no, another. I, thing, I trust but... it with all of my my health advice and none of my magic advice. <laughs> the uh. <laughs> uh no, I believe the CDC thing because I had heard five days from the onset. I, I, I yeah, I, I do think that that is. I know that they they changed that. They yeah. changed it from fifteen days, uh, or it's like it was ten days from end of symptoms. Now it is five days from, uh, five days from onset of symptoms. If you don't have a fever, yeah, and like twenty four hours of of like you're not using medicines to alterly reduce your fever. Uh, yeah, medicines, ju juicing, juicing your fevers, yeah. juicing your fevers. I'm, I'm the medicine man. Oh, you yeah, oh, need your COVID medicines. Oh my Brian. God, man, medicine man, it's so good to see you. Yeah. I was saying, it's been a minute. Uh, You're not allowed to talk to me. Well, I will. If you want to break containment. <laughs> well. But if you'd like to stay in containment, I've got some medicine. <laughs> well, a, a medicine man. <laughs> yes. Uh, I have a problem in that uh, we're, we're doing this show, you know, the, pu the public free show uh, uh -huh. right now. But tomorrow yeah. is traditionally when we do what we call the bonus episodes, the bones. 
Um, and that was before a skeleton lost his head on national television. Uh, but, but, yeah. but the question is, you know, should my co-host join me for the bones if we sat outside 15 feet away? However, you should know that uh, my co-host has a wife who's pregnant. So, yeah, my, uh, to your second question, uh, I think he doesn't make decisions right now. <laughs> so, uh, uh, don't worry about him, but I got a medicine for you. Okay. It's called a green shiny apple. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Sorry, uh, just, just a green uh, shiny apple. You have to shine it? Yeah. Oh, brother, when you have this green shiny apple, you are going to see... More than meets the eye. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. What? Is, what? Uh, uh, medic oh yeah, it's As called the green shiny apple, Brian. Okay, uh, uh, medicine man. As if you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> As we know, medicines have effects and side effects. Yeah, when you're talking to the medicine man, they do. <laughs> okay, so what? What exactly is? What am I curing with the green apple? What ails you? <laughs> well, I you, mean, want, you, 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 you want you want to know what you're curing is a is a case of squares disease. See, you're in this you're in this world, man, and you just see these things, and all you see is walls. It's about time you start seeing ramps. <laughs> so uh, it, it it's about it's about your consciousness, Brian. You ever wonder what the ferret sees at the bottom of a sock? <laughs> I know. I, I don't think I have. Exactly. <laughs> well, okay. So that's I, why you need this shiny green apple. Would, would 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 you say that the shiny green apple cures me of my limited vision of the universe? What you need to do is think about if you put your eye next to a pinhole and then stand on top of it, who sees more? You or the shoe? Oh, uh, I would. Uh, well, this is exactly the kind of question you'd be able to answer with alacrity if you had the shiny green apple. Well, what what kind of answer might I give in that kind of situation? Everything you need, brother. You can't explain <laughs> to the blind the Monets of the world. They no, wouldn't uh, have the no. verbal dexterity, the Hold language, on. let oh. alone the processing power. Brother, you're trying to run a Turbo <laughs> Graphics 16 on an old piece of wood. Okay. It just well, won't play, brother. <laughs> it just won't play. Uh, now, uh, 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 Medicine Man, uh, uh, yeah. wait, did you incent intentionally uh, talk about Monet and blind people in the same sense? because the reason that Monet painted impressionistically is because he was going blind? This is the kind of bullshit that you spend your time on spinning your wheels like you're some kind of clock. But next thing you know, you don't know the time because you're too busy thinking about it. You catch my drift? I, I, I think I do, but... but, but uh, right on. <laughs> One shiny green apple for you, then? Well, uh, how, how, how exactly is this drug administered? Well, what you got to do first is accept it into your heart. I, I see. Uh, this is the big question. You know, if you do not understand what you are about to do, then you will not do what you are to be <laughs> understood by. Okay, so so first is to believe in the plus believe the drug. in the shiny green apple. Yes, baby. yeah, believe yeah. in that shiny green apple. Know that there is a journey by which you will go on, and it is there for you. Okay, brother, and for and, you. Okay, because uh, uh because I have I, I I might have a touch of the leprosy. Okay. Yeah, works. <laughs> oh, really? Uh, what about yeah. pl what about pleurisy? Well, I don't know. I mean, the, the, this see the man won't let us study the effects of the shiny green. <laughs> uh, so, so how do you? I, I, I mean, I so guess so. Many, many of our well studied science at Brandeis University have said <laughs> that that it is not affiliated with the other one. It's Russell and Ed's. Uh, uh, they they. So the, the right now the man says we cannot study the true effects of the shattered green apple, but maybe <laughs> there have been many studies 
unpeer reviewed because they won't let us in the journals. <laughs> now, oh, now, why why won't they though? It, it seems like you, you're really onto something. If if this has big pharma, uh, oh oh well, who 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 do you work for? I work for the Shiny Green Apple Company. Uh, yeah. Le uh, so, so you work for Apple? And I work, no, I work for you, the people. Right, That's right. That's what I work for. But, but, but you said, you said you work for a Apple Company? The Shiny Green Apple. I sell uh, Shiny uh, Green Apples, bro. Well, I know, I know it's, uh, well, uh, is, um, uh, how can I put this, uh, um, do you ask you questions? That's the gateway. The uh, gateway to heaven is questions. Yeah, you know what? Let's let's go back to the original question. How's it administered? Orally. <laughs> the whole thing at once. You have to be like Stevie Star sucking down <laughs> an apple all at once. Wait, no, you can bite it. Oh, but it's still orally. Are wait, are you are you sure you're not just describing you eat an apple? Yeah. Oh no, that's exactly what I'm saying. Okay, so I you, sell apples. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Yeah, because yeah, now, now, now that now that I'm mostly, looking mostly wholesale <laughs> to chains like Kroger and <laughs> ATB and Publix, but I got a little hustle on the side where I sell them privately to my friends. Now that I'm looking over your shoulder, I clearly see yeah. this 18 wheeler filled with. <laughs> and yes, I Daddy guess the, the apples, apples are green now. Yeah, uh, uh, well, I'm the medicine. That was a nickname I got. In college, my real name is is Joseph. I'm a I'm a middle manager for Shiny Green Apple Corp. Okay, all right. And so and these these um are uh, uh, where are these? I might be overselling the prospects of what a Shiny Green Apple will do, but salesmanship is really my job. I right? understand. I gotta paint a picture. Oh no, I mean that that makes total sense. But it's just a. Uh, uh, it sounds a little bit like you're just selling uh, regular groceries, but making yep. them sound nope. like a. No, nope. no, you just you can end the sentence right there. I'm selling <laughs> groceries. <laughs> okay, <laughs> you, uh, yeah, you you don't want to gussy him up. My and name call is like Joseph Zeinsman, <laughs> and I've been in the grocery uh, wholesale trade for most of my life, mm -hmm. right out of my college days. Yep, at Troy. Troy, <laughs> Troy, Troy College. I went to Troy College, and then I, I think it's Troy got University. Into logistics yeah. after working a part-time job at a high V. A, 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 a high V. So this this would be uh, more Midwestern than uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, we, we, That's where I got my start in the Midwest. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then uh, have you thought about expanding your operations? Well, I'm climbing the corporate ladder, you know, just trying to build that 401k, diversifying my retirement. Oh, so I've got three kids, and uh, they all get fed by my work as a logistics manager for a uh, company. Where, for which my division is the shiny green apples. Right. So, so your kids always well fed. Absolutely. Wait, what, 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 what do they eat mostly? Pears. <laughs> Wait. Now, uh, 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 do they like pears? Nope. I make them eat them. <laughs> Why is that? Because that's my discipline, man. They're very <laughs> rotten children, and they need <laughs> to eat pears because they're not ready for the shiny green apple. <laughs> Brian, this is not a this is not a interrogation of my parenting. I'm trying to sell you a shiny green apple here, and you're being a little intrusive. I'm here for it. I'm here for it. It's just that I care about you and and how you're raising your kids. Um, say my when... name is Joseph Zeitzman. I sell <laughs> shiny green apples. My nickname is the Medicine Man. And my children suck, so I feed them pears because they don't deserve shiny green apples. Uh, At night, when I put them all to bed after saying that this has been yet another terrible day for you, and they slam the door as hard as I can, I retire to my bedroom where me and my wife nosh on shiny green apples away from their beady little eyes. Joseph, uh, when, when you were young, what did your father yes. feed you? 
cares? <laughs> So, so you were raised on pears. You figured yes. out a way to get your hands on a shiny green apples, and and then you uh, uh, the cycle of violence continued. Oh my god! <laughs> I, yeah, I'm sorry. Did I expand? Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my God. Oh my God. All right, jo oh my oh, God. Joseph, what Joseph. A breakthrough. Oh God. Just oh, oh, fuck. 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 God, my father fed me pears and I developed this whole other thing. It's like such a try Joseph, hard thing Joseph. where I'm like a drug dealer. But Joseph. All I wanted was his approval. And now all I'm doing is revisiting this kind of hell on my own children, feeding Joseph. them pears when I should be giving them shiny green apples. Joseph, 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 I have the. Oh, God, why? Joseph. Why do we give ourselves this burden that we only unload on our own children? Joseph. I, I want you to know I have something that can help. It's a palliative. Uh, here, I want you to take or I suppose eat eat this. Take a bite. What's it taste like? Ecstasy. That's a pear. <laughs> Landed it. Landed the bit. <laughs> Didn't know where it was going. Figured out where it ended. Found it. We found it. That's what we found. Hey, uh, uh. Brian, we mm. got uh, some Hollywood news for you. Do -do 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 -do. Hollywood, Brian. He loves the stars and the singers and everybody who entertains you. Brian, uh, we have we have Hollywood stories. Are you ready? Oh man, I've already read all of them. I bet I could tell you how they end before you even finish explaining the beginning. All right, hold on. Wait a minute. Let me just look up the Hollywood. Oh stories. yeah. It turns out he did kill his wife and her boyfriend. Uh, wait, what are you reading? Oh, uh, why? Well, oh, no, I set up the bit where I said I could tell you how it ends before you even began, and you said, "Hold on a minute," and then I just said the ending of the OJ trial. Oh shit! Wait, fuck, dude, you spoiled it. The oh, was that was that the bit? I was. I had DVR'd it. <laughs> You, you were, yeah, I'd only yeah, gotten introduced fuck, to Judge man. Ito. I was going to binge it. I was going to binge the OJ trial. Uh, and you ruined, wait, he killed them? Uh, yeah. Uh, well, you know what? Actually, he, he, his ghost. What? No. I was starting when he was at USC. Oh, jeez. You have a journey. <laughs> Yeah, I was starting. I just started OJ. You so so you I was just binging OJ. You didn't even get the part where he got solitary confinement for jacking off in Buffalo prison. Bills. At the end of the at the end of the season, yeah. they were like next season on OJ, and then he's like, "What do you mean I'm going to Buffalo?" And so I knew he was going to the Buffalo Bills, but who does he kill? In who on the Buffalo Bills does he kill? Well, at first you should know he's a gifted comedic actor. Uh, uh, wonderful. At Buffalo? Well, no. Uh, 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 in the movies, he he goes to the movies. He eventually leaves Buffalo. Yes. Uh, Spoiled again. Fuck. All right. Fine. He, uh, I guess I'm just killing seasons here. He develops. I thought I had found one of those like anime shows with like 5,000 episodes. Turns out, nope. Skip that. Skip that. He, skip wait, that. Okay. Wait, so yeah, now yeah, he's he, a movie star. Well, he's a gifted but, but, comedic actor. Before then, he develops a develop debilitating condition in which he is persistently late for flights. And the only cure for his uh, disease is to jump over bags and make it to Hertz rent a car. Uh, and Damn. then, and then he did a sci-fi. That's a trip. good bit. That's a good bit. That is. That's a really good. I wish I would saw it originally, but apparently, old spoiler Bry over here <laughs> spoiling OJ. <laughs> All, right. All right, so fine. He goes. He gets a Hertz rental car. What else? Just spoil the rest of it. Yeah, I guess because we're way forward. I mean, this is like seven seasons of OJ. I mean, after this, we can only get speculative, or we used to only be able to be speculative, but now it's historical fact. Uh, he definitely question mark 
sent a lot of knife emojis to a teenager goading him on Twitter. And then he killed his wife? Oh, no, no, I'm going out of order. This is like an M. Night Shyamalan thing. Like, oh, no. So this is even later. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit. He also did a sequel. This, is like, this clears out most of my Hulu. Like, most <laughs> of what I had queued up on Hulu was OJ. And now you're just, you're, you're slashing right through it. Like, with a knife and a stabbing motion. You're stabbing my entire Hulu. Yeah, right. <laughs> uh... uh Man, I, I I don't want to make this just a bit where I just Brian is cross examined on all the things he can remember. No, I just well now. I mean, is there anything else? What's the end? Just give me the final episode. The final episode of OJ. What happens? Just fu just fucking tell me. Um, uh, he gets he fucks up the NBA finals in 1993. The same day Jack Nicholas quit. That's the end? The end of the OJ yeah, show? The, the movie goes out of order. Oh, so it's artsy. Yeah. They're like, Damn. they're doing like a, a traffic thing. Like a Safety Brothers? Yeah, or a, 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 a Run Lola Run. Mm. Yeah. I really like that that last sentence proved who's seen movies more recently. Uh, <laughs> I don't know who the Safety Brothers are. That was abundantly obvious. <laughs> what is the Safety Brother? They, they did Uncut Gems. Oh, shit. Yeah, that yeah. was a good one. Yeah. Uncut Gems. Like, uh, that's, that's like oh, such a punk Although rock. that is linear. That's not out of order. But it is weird. Yeah. No, it no, no, it definitely just is is nested trouble on trouble action. Yeah, uh, and Adam Sandler just being nefarious, hasten. All right, the whole uh, uh, back to our original premise. Uh, what 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 did I miss? No, I like that premise better. Uh, okay. I was literally just killing time and we <laughs> succeeded. <laughs> okay, well then, all right, okay, then that way. Yeah, yeah, we got it. Congrats, we got it. Congrats. Um, Do you know there's a new there's a new um uh, a new Beverly Hills cop out? Uh I believe somebody might assume the title but not the position. I don't believe anyone is the Beverly Hills cop except for the one true and original Beverly Hills cop, which of course is Sylvester Stallone. Wait, you know this, right? He was Axel Foley originally? Yeah. And they got like heavy in development. And then he was like, guys, I, I, I think you should get somebody funny. And then they're all like, yeah. okie doke. <laughs> that was that. Wise decision. Yeah. Uh, who's the new Beverly Hills cop? Who's who's the relatable mega hit all star that everybody knows that would be shocked, shocked, shocked to see him go from crass comedian to credible action star similar to uh, Bruce Willis or or the original Axel Foley Eddie Murphy Wait there's just a new Beverly Hills yes. cop in the series Yes Oh that's great All right. Axel F Axel F it is debuting uh debuting soon is, it might is, be out. is Harold Faltermeyer still alive or did they just like create an LLM of his synth music between Fletch and Beverly Hills Cop and then make a new soundtrack? Uh, I have no idea, but uh, yeah, I'm trying to look. Yeah, Be Beverly Hills Cop uh, uh, 2 was in 1987. And they apparently are like disavowing Beverly Hills Cop 3. Uh, but they're bringing back Judge Reinhold, right? He's alive, right? I think he is. What about that other guy, the cop with the mustache? He was one of those that guy cops. Yeah, you got me. To be totally honest, these were a little outside of my um, my my wheelhouse. So Be I don't, I don't Be quite Be have Be the Beverly, uh, I, I Beverly have the Hills assault. Cop Seven, the banana in the tailpipe. <laughs> Would they just do it an entire 
movie. Oh no, it's a por- the it's a porno story of the banana. Yeah, no, okay, all right. I- it's just it's like from the very beginning. There's like a whole five episode arc on Paramount Plus of just the origin story of the banana, where you always know it's going to go in the tailpipe, but it begins. It's a it's a real heartbreaking mother and daughter tale. Of a banana farm in Nicaragua. All right, so okay, all right, there we go. There's a so, lot all, right, of all, right, all right, hold on, hold on, hold on. So opening scene, opening scene: a banana grows on a banana tree in a banana farm in Central America, and he whoa, says, whoa, "No, no, no, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. That's episode four. That's episode four. No, <laughs> first it's a uh, uh, fade up dirt land. Uh, uh, an, uh, an old man shows up." Uh, uh, subtitled in Spanish. This, as he picks up a clump of dirt, <laughs> this is banana land. <laughs> uh, uh, about 30 minutes of useless uh, shots of the land mm. and uh, some stock footage of a minor bird. And then uh, he's like, uh, uh, I'm thinking about planting a banana tree. <laughs> Credits. <laughs> episode two <laughs> then it's uh, a baby banana flashback it- even further <laughs> flashback <laughs> even <laughs> further <laughs> to the mayan civilization <laughs> there is a bunch of people yelling at each other in mayan and uh, uh, uh eventually you find out no subtitles eventually they pan up and there's a gigantic statue of a banana flashback back to the present the man repeats i think i'm going to plant a banana tree just so you're not confused he then goes looking for seeds but he's waylaid by an old prospector who wants to buy the land and make a chuck e cheese um okay uh and and far as i'll ever be the old prospector says You'll never plant a banana tree on this land. Credits. <laughs> Episode three. Where does it start? <laughs> oh, man, I, uh, 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 <clears throat> uh, well, I, w- I would like to believe uh, uh, a teenage banana trying to find his way is on banana spring break with all of his banana buddies. And yeah. uh, and they're all like, "Come on, man!" I was gonna save that for the spinoff, but let's let's fold it in. You want to know? All the bananas. Let's fold it in. All the bananas are like, a, "Come on, man! We're all doing it. You know, it's just for fun." And he yep. goes, yeah, "What's the matter? Not a banana?" He's like, "No, I'm a banana." And he walks into a, a, a witch doctor's hut. And and she casts uh, uh uh she eats a pear and then and then spits the pits of the pear, uh and then examines it and says, "I see a tailpipe." Uh, By the way, I'm seeing I'm seeing we had to overcast this because it's going to be in the trailer. Yeah, I'm seeing Susan uh, Sarandon. I don't know if she's available, but we'll give her a call. I know her agent. Anyway, go ahead. Uh, yeah, no, I, I, I mean, the, the, that's uh, just By the, the way, what are you start. thinking? Are you thinking suits? Are you thinking CG? Or are you thinking animation for the young bananas? Oh, I, I just figured actual bananas with voiceovers just laying there. Stop motion? No, like maybe when the banana moves, like you see kind of a stick. A little just sort finger. of poke, poking it. Like, like, you I know, love it. Like, I love it. You know, like, like. Uh, oh, my God. Uh, oh, my God. I love it. Brian, you're the greatest mind in the history of television. <laughs> Have, has anyone ever told you that? <laughs> you know what? Has anyone Je- ever told you? You know what? You Justin? are the greatest mind in the history of television. Oh my god! I was actually telling my daughter that the other day. I was saying, you want to know who has just an amazing mind for te- just like a like oh like bl- blow your head off, amazing mind for television. Brian Brushwood. I, I'm, I, where do you come up with this? Where do you come up with this, man? I don't even know. I can't, I would never. Know. All right, so uh, uh, here we go. You uh, uh, credits, boom. Uh, uh, you're going to be in a tailpipe episode. We're going to skip ahead. Episode seven. We're getting toward the end. Uh, we're assuming that the man has in episode six finally planted the banana, uh, uh, and so now the 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 banana that we flashed forward to is now beginning to grow. Go ahead. Uh, oh well. Uh, 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 uh. 
uh, the, the dad is super uh, <clears throat> religious. He worships uh, 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 the one true strain of, of plantains. Uh, but, but that's not a very popular belief among banana culture. And he says, whatever you do, my son, never believe a witch a lady. And he says, what's that? Mm. He says, don't worry. You'll never find out. I'll never let you go on a spring break ever. And then uh, I love this. I love this. I love this because people are like religion. I don't know. Maybe, maybe it doesn't. Is it witchcraft? Is was that Susan Sarandon? We have a lot of questions in the audience's mind right now, and you're doing great, Brian. Out of 10. I'm trying 10 I'm, out of 10. I'm right trying now. really hard to not take it as a personal insult because in our private conversations, you and I both know that when Hollywood people say you're doing like you're great, they're no, literally no, spitting in your face. No, <laughs> no, no, no. This certainly isn't a parody of every meeting I've ever had in Hollywood. <laughs> anyway, Brian, genius. Oh, my God. Amazing genius. <laughs> Beautiful, amazing genius. Like, who? how do you even talk with people? How do you, people stop kissing you on the mouth because you're so pretty? Like, all right. So here we go. Big finale. Uh, 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 we're, we're getting to Detroit. How do we get to Detroit? Uh, well, uh, 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 it looks like there. Uh, first of all, the the banana spends his whole life like avoiding manholes, uh, holes in men, just great. Swiss cheese. Oh, I love it. That's <laughs> He's afraid. Be great. Yeah, we're gonna be able to sell this to so many places. Tur uh, turns out, turns out, <clears throat> he uh, 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 he 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 uh, uh, sees a flight to Detroit and decides to to go the opposite of Detroit goes to Los Angeles mm. and an over the top homosexual parody character purchases a bunch of bananas in mm. Los Angeles. Yeah. Uh, Love it. Love it. The, uh, Love it's a Wayans it. brother. It's a Wayans brother. Okay, so no here, by the way, uh, uh, you know, Hey, look, we don't like notes here. Right. We're at the studio. We don't like nuts. Well, we don't like know, nuts. You're just, the genius. You're the brilliant, beautiful genius. So I'm just going to give you a little, just a little, just a tiny little note. Just a small little note. Yep, okay? Yep. Yep. Not over the top parody. Character remains the same. A brave representation. <laughs> Okay. 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 So in we're 19, just gonna say we're just 19, gonna find in the replace, mid eighties. Okay. Replace, find replace. <laughs> okay. Over the top parody. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. No. 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 Okay. You cannot say right now. Brave representation. Literally anything goes. Okay. You could do the you could do the exact same thing that you did before. You just have to call it a brave representation. So brave. So brave. Yeah. Uh, there we go. What a, okay. what a breakout hit for a career that you know. Fingers crossed. You know, I, I'm I'm be, I'm buying hard on HSX. It's a website that'll be out one day on the Wayans family. I uh, mm -hmm. I, I put everything on age as well. Is is what I put. Yes. Okay. All right. Good. Okay. The, number one. Big thumbs up. Yep. Uh, uh, so there we go. Gets purchased and then credits or we do another little wing. No, 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 no. Okay. 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 This is the moment. This is the moment. Tell me, tell me, tell me I'm going to die. If you don't tell me buying, somebody's going to buy bananas to put in a tailpipe. Yeah. He puts his mustache on the banana next to him. Other banana gets in the tailpipe. He gets off scot-free. It's a Kaiser Soze. Damn. Um, I didn't see that coming. Hold on. Hold on. You were setting that up the entire time? <laughs> he what? You were setting that up the entire time? He, he, yeah, he was, he was. You're telling me that you were setting that up. Oh yeah, yeah. The no. entire time. Uh, well, you know what? I, I was thinking about like uh, uh, that's why one character was named America, the other one was named uh, YouTube Golden Play Button, another one was named Big Plant, another one was named Lamp, another one was named McConaughey's Beer, another one was named Clock, another one was named Earpods, another what? one was named. <laughs> Black T-shirt. Another These one was are named. All great names. 
<laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> Brian, you're the greatest creative mind of a generation. So, so you want to buy it? Actually, we're going to pass. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Actually, oh, man. Uh, the only thing I would hope for more is for you're like, you know what? We definitely will. It's just that Christmas is coming up. <laughs> yeah, it's just, uh, you want to know what? Yeah. So, look, if it were up to me, I would buy it, and I would buy 11 more shows of you tomorrow. Okay? It's just the idiots fucking upstairs that are just jerking off. They wouldn't know talent if it hit them in the face like a salmon at a Seattle fish market. So, I'm sorry, but will never talk to you again and if i had any idea that you were actually valuable i'd cultivate a friendship but instead everyone's disposable my life is a nihilistic mess goodbye click forever <laughs> welcome <laughs> welcome to hollywood the documentary <laughs> I know, geez, that turned into a therapy session. Yeah. <laughs> well, at first I thought I was in trouble for like, I thought you were saying that my bits were not good by saying they were good in that Hollywood speak that you and I have contempt for. No, no, we were just giving people a window into the realm of actually trying to make anything in uh, the fucking Hollywood system where everybody is your best friend. You're always the greatest fucking person on the planet because they're literally just buttering you up in case this million to one chance comes through because it does. You're at the lottery factory where lottery tickets are made. And so they do happen. Everyone knows a person who for whom it's happened to. So everybody, while you're working on something, you're the greatest, you're the best, you're the most amazing person on the planet. And this is for every stage of everything. Scripted stuff, reality stuff, uh, 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 competition stuff, whatever it is. You, you are going to be treated like a superstar because they, you never know. Because if you're the guy that is working on a thing next to the guy who did a thing, then you get uh, special well, privileges. And, and also because anybody who has gotten to a position of power, they may not know the actual recipe for success. And spoiler adult, uh, spoiler adult. <laughs> they, that's that's in my new character. Spoiler, spoiler adult. adult. Hold on, let me just text that to Cheeto. For the title of the show. Spoiler Spo adult. Spoiler adult. They don't. Um, <laughs> but they all remember the time that somebody. Uh, the, the 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 grudges they still harbor to this very day, and they don't want to be on the receiving end of those because they all expect to have a long and storied career in banana tailpipe related Beverly Hills Cop cinema. Can I just tell you, I'm so glad we're done with the era of streaming series that we were at, where there were 17 of them coming out every day, because we're like starting to work our way back through Echo. And I'm like, good God. Like, not a, is make, Echo make another three good, make Disney three good one? episodes. Make That's... three good episodes. I don't really need to see her flashbacks to the beginnings of her tribe and like, just go. She's a badass bitch who uh, whips a bunch of ass and, and wants to kill people. Uh, 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 let, let her do this that. Is the, the, the Marvel Echo or? Yeah, this is the, the, the daredevil the card. villain yeah yeah uh although it's I, like okay. yeah. Uh, I, I, so so is it all bad or it's not bad it's just indicative of the this world where everything has to be you get an order for seven episodes right or, or six episodes and so you're just you're gonna make them six episodes because you, you're nobody who wants to get paid and wants to get all their crew paid is going to say, nope, less episodes. Right. Uh, you're going to say, you get paid by the episode, you're going to give them six. And so it's like, okay, well, I guess we're just going to do one episode where she's like on a farm and she's just like figuring out how tomatoes grow. And then at the beginning, there'll be something interesting. And at the end, there'll be something interesting. But in the middle, it'll just be her going, hmm. Because also she's deaf. And so it's all sign language. And so it's like, oh, okay. So it's just going to be a quiet contemplation on farming. Uh, yeah. So, so I'm only on episode of six of Shogun, but, um, boy, can I tell, uh, uh why <laughs> Justin Robert Young might like this show? Because I thought to myself, what if you played Game of Thrones 
on hard mode where yeah. you had to read subtitles and like you only got uh, and everybody to our our ignorant western eyes looked very similar to each other and you had to really pay attention to extraordinarily subtle social cues and there were entire scenes where nothing was even said but you had to notice a slight purse of the lips to figure out whether or not someone's head was about to get chopped off oh my god dude it's I'm amazing so into it i'm so <laughs> into it and Again, I, I don't know if this is racist. If it is, I'll go down with this ship. Japanese got the best grunts. Nobody Ugh. in the grunt game. Nobody in the grunt game is even close, right? Americans, and look, we're, we're about to go into January 4th. I'm an American exceptionalist. I believe American number one, no matter what, except for this. We can't grunt for shit. <laughs> Japanese, <laughs> Japanese got a whole language of grunts of like, Ugh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Like, and they all, and on that show, exquisite works of art, the grunts, the Japanese grunts on that show. I, I, I could, I, I, I want to go to sleep. If I had problems going to sleep, I would go to sleep. And maybe I will once this, this uh, uh, little girl was born where I'm just like cracked out. I need to like find ways to bring myself back down. I'm going to just make a a big reel of japanese grunts that will just soothe me i love them i mean by the time your daughter goes to sleep uh uh, uh ai will be able to assemble one <laughs> you'll be able to say give me a super cut of all the greatest grunts by the I'm way just uh yeah japanese grunt for me dog and it'll just be like huh? i can't even do them i'm not even close uh, i also watched uh uh, uh godzilla minus one uh, uh, I mean, it's definitely a Godzilla Does movie. Does Godzilla grunt? Uh, yes. <laughs> there, there's a lot of grunts. The uh, uh, it, uh so now so, you're talking. <laughs> All right, go on. <laughs> the funniest part to me, uh, the greatest part. Uh, I don't know. Um, normally when you think of a Godzilla movie, they want to make Godzilla the star, but of course. Um, uh, uh, you shouldn't do that. You should make the human drama the star, and G Godzilla should be a natural disaster, a tornado, an earthquake, yeah. a nine eleven, whatever. You know, it, it's like a, a terrible thing that is unstoppable that you try to stop. But it should be the humans you care about. It's been a minute since I've seen a Godzilla-related anything where I. I, I I think I barely remember Godzilla in 1985. Before that, I think there were some good ones, but I was too young to know them. Know them. Uh, yeah. uh, Godzilla minus one is uh, uh, has a pretty good human story. It's it's about a dude who chickens out from being a kamikaze and uh, uh, and happens to see little baby Godzilla before he gets nuked, and then sees bigger Godzilla, and then decides I'm going to do the right thing and kamikaze. Uh, but does he? You'll find out when you watch Godzilla Minus One. Yep. Well, I think we did it, Brian. Yeah, I think we made a uh, uh, an episode. Actually, we have two more minutes. Can we do two more minutes? Do we? Yeah. The fastest two minutes in podcasting. All right. It's Whoa. time for our final round in which Justin and Brian name the books of the Quran that we know. Starting with Justin. The Quran. The Quran. The Quran. <laughs> okay. You win. Now we're going to name. <laughs> bah, bah, bah. <laughs> All right. Bye, guys. <laughs> we love you. Hold on. I guess I should play the lullaby, which I actually had queued up. But I can't play. You can't hear it. I'll just play a little bit. Do, 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 do. Yeah, we did everything low budget. Do, do, do. We're at the end of the show. There are some things that work. There are other things that don't. Oh, well, Brian and Justin, they're rusty because they haven't done a remote show. But then COVID took Brian out and we cannot be together because my wife is pregnant and she'd yell at me. <laughs> oh, remote end of show. The show. End of the show. End of the show. End of the show. This is the end, end of, of the show. show. End of the show. End of the show. 
end of the show. I love time to go. Diamond Club hopes you've enjoyed this program. <laughs>